On Wednesday, the 7th of March, at 6.30pm, a group called Invisible Children aired a video called Corny 2012. Little did anyone know that this film could change the course of history forever. Overnight, a war criminal called Joseph Corny became the most well-known man in the world, and this happened through a 30-minute long video that went viral overnight. Over 77 million people tuned in and were shocked by what they saw. Obviously, I think Joe, Joseph Coney is, seems to be one of a long line of really brutal, nasty people that uh, the, the world needs to get a, a grip of, get arrested, get uh, put in prison as soon as possible. From what I know of, Joseph Coney isn't a very nice person. Um, he seems to be a kind of a dictator um, who keeps himself in power by terrorising um, the people who he's supposed to be protecting, I suppose. I think it's quite obvious that he's not a very nice person. Um, just from the videos that I've seen of what he does, I think he's a bit of an a-hole, quite honestly. From the information from the documentary and the one other thing that I've seen on YouTube, I think he seems like a bit of an awful man. He's, uh, the stuff that he's doing is awful. He's obviously, with, you know, the stuff that he's doing with the children is awful. I think. But I don't know that much about him. I didn't know anything about him before the documentary. Heads turned when the video's creator was caught on cam naked after suffering a massive nervous breakdown. It's sad and it does show the kind of pressure people can be put under when they do face a little bit of success. Um, I mean, you regularly see with celebrities and things having breakdowns, but that's after they've had the limelight for a long time. I, I, I think for him personally, it obviously must have been a tragedy to, 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 to have such a... Prof you don't strip off all your clothes and run around in the street naked, raving, unless you've had a massive, massive mental breakdown. And so... It's a tragedy for him and his child and his, his family, his wife. Um, I, I, thought, I felt really sad that it happened. Uh, there, was, there was quite a lot of news about it and it's, it's a real shame what happened to him because he obviously had some kind of nervous breakdown and that the, the way it's been reported in the news was probably slightly unhelpful to, his, to the cause. I wonder if the public think this should be a headline or just a passing trend. Um, <clears throat> yeah, I think it should. I think it, the, the whole kind of way it's managed to reach so many people is massively important and it's a, it's a kind of sign of the times. Um, with the internet and everything, it's, it's amazing to think that there were so many people seeing such like one person's message um, in only two days. I think it was about eight million people. Um, and that's massively important. It's, it's historical, really. I don't think it's current, so I don't really think it should be the headline in the newspapers. I think newspaper headlines are, uh, are there for things that are current and things to grab your attention, but it isn't at the moment. Is it important? I think it is important, but I don't think it should be in, it shouldn't be in, the, in the headlines. It needs to continue, really, and uh, it, it deserves, it's a story that deserves to be told and it's good that they're, they're highlights to think a terrible, terrible thing. On the 31st of December this year, the Corny 2012 video will disappear. Will this be because Joseph Corny is behind bars or because the campaign has failed? I guess only time will tell. <laughs>